Hi Capricorn. All right, so the first card out we have is I'm a Cancer. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer. We have male crying over you. So someone could miss you. This could be someone from the past or someone that you're dealing with currently. <coughs> Let's see what else comes out. This is for Capricorn, please, Spirit Guides. Capricorn. Okay, could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, and we have unrequited love. It says just an option, nothing serious. So someone could also feel this way about you. They might feel like, I don't know why, but I'm getting the vibe that they think that you're playing games. And I don't think that you are at all, but I don't know why they think that. But it says at the bottom of the deck, toxic, I'll never change my ways. So someone here is like really, really stuck. Stuck on their ways, stuck on how they are. Um, they're having a difficult time, time changing. Let's see, this is for Capricorn, please. Okay. So we have cassette. Yeah. Like, it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So they just keep repeating the same pattern of behavior, the same pattern of, it could be a mindset. There's something that they're fearful of that they keep like, repeating and it says like they're never going to change so um cupid's arrow so have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting so you guys might be meeting someone new that you're not expecting and then it says not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call or person so some of you guys also might be feeling like just checking out turning off your phone um, staying at home, like not talking to anybody, like, you know, that type of energy. Let's see, this is for um, Capricorn. This is really fun. I just got this deck. It's called, it's my 90s deck, so I'm like so excited to use it. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Oh, that's adorable. So it says call dibs on you. And then it has the little old school cookie is so cute so someone is like you know could be calling dibs on you maybe this is this new person that's coming in that you guys are gonna meet like um yeah the time is now something good is happening something good is coming but i would be careful because we have the hoochie card so either they might be just interested in a one night stand or they might think that you are this way they might get the wrong idea and think that you're a hoochie or they think that like that's all you're interested in okay we have invest your money wisely so be careful where you're spending your money right now and there might be some good opportunities for investing your money like maybe a way you can increase your funds we have your friends cannot be trusted okay be careful who's around you Who's in your energy? You know, be careful of who you let into your house. Like, things like that, you know? Like, don't just think everyone's your friend. Don't go around telling people your business. Be careful what you say. Be careful opening up, okay? And we have therapy and counseling rep recommended. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with um, seeking counseling if you need someone to talk to. So, um, maybe some of you like need some type of guidance like that um he she likes it toxic uh oh someone like that's the second time we got this toxic card look they're both the overall energy so you guys got to be careful they're both green there's something going on here okay and it could have to do with like money like there might be a situation where Maybe someone's trying to use you for money or like, I don't know. So just be careful. Watch out for it. And I know Capricorn, you guys are like, I already have trust issues. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Yeah. But it's always good to like be aware. Be careful, of course, you know. Don't close yourself off to life, but just be careful. I don't know. Okay. 
or be aware, be mindful, right? Like, don't be fearful, be mindful. Okay, let's see. What are the tarot messages for Capricorn? Please, Spirit Guys. Oh, wow. First card out is your guys' card, the devil energy. I love that. So, you know, that's always a good symbol when your card shows up in your reading, your major arcana card. But it's also the first card, so that's the most powerful. So don't... I feel like you guys are underestimating yourselves. Don't feel like you are, I don't know, not capable right now or not in your element or not in your energy because this is such a good sign. Like you guys are, you're on top of it. You're on the ball in some way. But I'm getting the feeling like you don't think you are or something or you actually feel like you're out of it or like, and I don't know why you feel like that. So um, maybe just don't worry, be more confident. Some of you could also be dealing with a fellow Capricorn. Wow, Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. This is, um, you know, emotional abundance, happiness. Um, so that potential is here for you guys coming up soon. You could be trying to manifest this. Maybe you're trying to manifest a new relationship. Some of you are meeting an Aries. We have the Emperor energy. But the Aries, or the Emperor, you know, is a boss. He's in charge. He's, um, this could be like you guys in your... In your with your finances you're feeling like so there's a warning here that to be like addicted to emotional codependence so uh, be careful of that if you're relying on your your friends or your family members too much for your own happiness remember to like you know look within and be your own source of happiness um, and then we have the Nine of Swords, so there's some type of anxiety here. could be related to work, but maybe you feel like out of control with the Emperor here. You feel um, like you're not in control of the situation. Okay, let's see what else comes out. This is for Capricorn, please. Spirit Guides. Okay, Page of Swords. So stalking spying someone um this could be someone new that you're meeting they could be like um trying to like see what you're up to someone who you guys left out in the cold you abandoned or the five of pentacles um i'm not sure let's see knight of pentacles in reverse do you feel like this took too long between the two of you? Something that, a relationship that was going to happen, but it didn't come into fruition. Yeah, they're not happy about this. The King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They feel like they missed out an opportunity with you and they were in love with you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they saw you as like wife or husband material. Could be dealing with a fellow earth sign, so um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is interesting. But based on the oracle cards, you know, this person, this person can be toxic, remember? This could be a toxic ex trying to come back in. They were indecisive or they couldn't decide on you. They put you in a third party. They were back and forth or immature, their energy. Like, you guys manifested something better, a better situation. They want to reconcile with you, but I'm getting the feeling that you don't want them back. You guys don't have feelings for them anymore. And you've moved on with the hangman in reverse. That's There's a better connection here, a more stable one here. Some of you could be getting engaged or um, married. It's the king of pentacles of the king. Queen of Cups. For some of you, this is a water sign or a or a a fellow earth sign again. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, this is gonna take you by surprise with the Tower card here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, there's gonna be a shocking or sudden change that's coming up. That this person is going to come towards you and express how they feel about you. That they do want stability and commitment. Possibly marriage with you. 
Um, I think that this is someone else. This is not the person from the past. This is really interesting because earlier we have the King of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles showing up together. And then later we have with the Four of Wands, we have another couple, which is the opposite. It's the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Crazy. So someone could have switched partners here. If some of you, this is not for all of you, but if some of you are dealing with a, um, there's more than one couple here. So if you had multiple options or some of you like swap partners, that's weird. So two of you were dating each other, <laughs> two of you were dating each other, and then you switched partners. So one of them is, uh, anyway. I don't know who that's for, but <laughs> that's only for a small percentage, maybe one of you. Okay. Um, but I see something more stable and committed, something coming in for you guys. But you definitely have to stand your ground and get rid of your ex because this person is toxic for you, okay? Um, and they're going to try to come back in. They could be trying to, like, use you for, um, sex, too, because we had the hoochie card, member, and then we also had, this could be a cancer. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to affect you guys. I feel like you guys are, um, you're happier when you, you've moved on from that. So I would just keep that in mind and look out for that, but, um... There's someone who's more stable and who can provide for you here with the King of Pentacles. Because that's all about coins. So um, I would look for that. Whereas this person from the past with the King of Cups, you know, that means that they didn't really show their emotions. And it's kind of like you snooze, you lose type of energy because, you know, you guys moved on and found someone better. And now they want to come back in because they're jealous. But yeah. Anyways, let me know if that resonates for you guys. Um, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box. So yeah, check it out. Alright, thank you so much. Bye!